As you can see, this lure is successful. You want to assist me, corn dog? This is my good friend, corn dog. Hold that baby up. Oh yeah. That is a quality fish for this lake. Poor quality fish. As you can see, caught on the burgundy leaf pattern. Like I said, you had a tie earlier. It's beauty. Oh yeah. Even when the fishing slow, they a lot of times they can't resist it. Now this is the second way of tying on a body that I showed you last time. And it's just that half hitch that we made and you tie it over and you just let this sit up at the top and you roll it up and it just sits there swings around it spins that's just fine and now it's time to have our dubbing tool and you place it if you can see these two strings right here if you place it one, one hook in the right side and another hook in the left side and you just pull it down just like that and you make sure that you're that you're uh, dubbing is spread out like this and you put it up in there and make sure it's pretty close to the base of the fly and then once again you start spinning just like this and you let it spin down this side and then you let it spin down this side and this just makes a really good really good body I like these custom bodies you can get them more fluffy um, they don't fall apart as easily and you just start tying that on at right the base fold it back tie it on fold it back tie it on gets a little clumpy you just tie it on and once again you want to leave about a quarter of an inch right here and cut it off right there if you can see that that's about a quarter of an inch cut it off and then you take this strand right here and you fold it back and that's pretty much like a barb on a hook it just keeps it on there and it doesn't fall off and once again add more glue the more glue you have the longer your fly will stay together so there's the glue the lid back on now it's time for the hackle right here and you want to go three to four wraps on the hackle and there's one and there's two and there's three and there's four right there and then right up front you want to do a full wrap and get that front kind of a little bit more meaty and it'll attract the fish better I promise so now pull that tight wrap on cut off a little extra so you can fold it back fold back tie it on just like a barb now it's time for the copper copper holds everything on those fish are grabbing at the feathers and they're trying to rip it apart because they think it's food and that's a good thing but you add the copper it adds a little flash it holds everything together really well and you just tie that right on right there the head once again cut that off bend it back so you have a barb and tie it on it's a wonderful way to keep everything together and pretty much that's the end of the fly other than picking out the body so it breathes well in the water and it looks like it's alive all this stuff right here just moves back and this tail just goes like this through the water when you're pulling it back and this lead that we put up front makes it drop and then you pull it back up and then it drops again and then you pull it back up and it drops again it's a beautiful thing and only you can experience that for yourself 
and just tie your fly and go have fun with it. But uh, we have one more step here and that's finishing off the head and we'll get to that right after we uh, fluff out this body just a little bit more. You don't want to go too deep with the needle here because you'll be pulling out the lead, you'll be pulling out threads and that's no good. So you just get a little bit into the body and that looks pretty good. Nice little fluffy. Pull up one more little strand right there and there you have it. And make a little bit meatier head right here. Not too big though. And that's perfect. Tie a knot. Time for the Griff's glue. This is really good glue. I'd recommend it. It's awesome. So make sure you have you're pretty uh, liberal with the glue right there. And now for the whip finisher. Alright, so here's the whip finisher. And what you do here is you lay it straight down on the thread like that. And bring the spindle back to an angle. And as you can see, the thread right here. You just lay it right on top of the fly and you have this part, this part of the thread, come over the top and you just wrap around it four to five times. So there's one, two, three, four, five times. And do it again, of course. But first we add glue. Never can have too much glue. Never can have too much glue. Be pretty liberal there. And Put on the lid so you don't splash everywhere. Clean off your needle. Now once again, you just do it again. And then one, two, three, four, five, done. And then cut off the fly, cut off the excess string right at the base. Not too close though. Some people cut it way too close and it'll come out of the knot. So just lay that little piece of thread back with your glue. And make sure you got, you want to have it look like a clear coat on your head. And that's good. Now, one last final tip for getting this glue out of the hole right here, which sometimes forms, is you get a piece of really thin hackle like this. And you just run it up through the bottom right there. And you just pull it through and it gets all the glue out of there. And then when you're out fishing, you don't have to deal with trying to get another hook out, especially at night when you're fishing. You don't want to have to try to deal with that at night. So there's our burn, all, burn orange and olive seal bugger. As you can see here, it's a very good fly. Works great in the afternoon. I like to have about a four inch pull kind of a rapid retrieve and well thanks for watching good luck fishing